Happening now, the historic Packard plant in Detroit is being demolished. It's been run down for decades at this point, and this is the second major demolition project. It's the largest remaining former auto factory that is coming down after the site was deemed unsafe. Our Ray Strickland is on the site tonight on the east side of the city on Grand Boulevard near Palmer and Concord. That's where we find our Ray Strickland tonight. He joins us live this evening. And Ray, it's not exactly a secret that this building has been an eyesore for years. Yes, but not an eyesore for too much longer. Now, I can tell you, demo crews just left not too long ago, but they were here for hours chipping away at this massive building. I have my photographer zooming in here so our viewers at home can get a closer look. Now, this has been a spectacle. I've been here since this morning, or I should say this morning, and also for the past couple of hours, and people have been coming by taking pictures and videos. There's actually a couple standing right next to me who's been doing the same thing. Now, many people, as uh, I just said are pretty happy about this and they are just ecstatic that this building is finally being torn down. The Packer plant was once home to a thriving automaker famous for its luxury cars, but it now lives in infamy abandoned for decades in claiming the title as the most notorious remaining abandoned auto factory in Detroit. Because the structure is not safe, it's a danger just in that it's not safe for you to wander around inside of this location. Today marked the next step in the city's plans to demolish the property. Last September, emergency demolition took place on the Concord portion of the plant. Now the city is starting work on the second section on Grand Boulevard. This property is the last portion that's owned by the city. And so we're making sure that our commitment is seen by taking out our portion or our responsibility to it. The city has begun the process of surveying the remainder of the plant and will seek bids from companies to demolish additional sections. The hope is a portion of the site will be redeveloped while also preserving some of its history. We're definitely going to include neighbors in the process. That's a part of our process on what they would like to see, the green space, the commercial buildings, the uh, affordable housing, the things that we've already been doing in other areas in the city. We're definitely looking forward to being able to involve our residents uh, in and around this area in that process. And the city says the demolition here of this portion of the building on Grand Boulevard is expected to be complete by March. All right, thank you, Ray. You can always find our Ray Strickland in Wayne County working for you. He's there uncovering stories that affect you and your community.